One of the most common reasons a WordPress site can become slow is too many plugins on your site or one large WordPress plugin that you may not know about. The P3 Plugin Performance Profiler will diagnose large plugins on your site so you can make a decision whether you want to keep them or delete them. So log into your WordPress dashboard and go to Plugins, Add New. Search for the P3 plugin and go ahead and install it on your website. Now if you scroll down, you'll see a Scan Now button and then click Start Scan, Auto Scan. Once P3 is done going through your plugins, you can scroll down and see the pie chart with your largest plugins. You can also see the detailed breakdown section right here and hover over each item to see their load time. So I do have a few tips, especially for the larger plugins. You may want to consider deleting them if you don't need them, or find another plugin that performs the same function but doesn't load as slow. Another tip I have is if you can replace a plugin with something that performs the same function without using the plugin, then you may want to do that. So an example of that would be if you're using a social media plugin to display a Twitter widget on your sidebar, you can actually use the regular Twitter widget without having to use a plugin. And if you go through this, Twitter will provide you with the code that you can just copy and paste into your sidebar. And that way you can shave a couple milliseconds or milliseconds off your load time. So my last tip is for plugins that you're only using at certain times, like the P3 Plugin Profiler, you may want to consider deleting those when you're done. And you can always install them and reactivate them when you need them, but if you have them on your website at all times, it will also slow down your load time. So only use those plugins when you need to and delete them when you're done. When you're done going through your plugins, you can proceed to the next step. 